Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to Avatar from 2009. So, this is a movie I obviously have heard about a million times. I actually went to the Avatar place in Disney World about five years ago, maybe. So, I do know some of, like, the... I don't really know any of the lore, but I know, like, the scenery, what the environment looks like. I know what the characters look like. I've seen those. I've heard the soundtrack a bunch of times because it was playing throughout that park. And I do know it also is directed by James Cameron, and I love James Cameron's movies, so I have heard a lot of people upset that he's only been working on Avatar for the last, like, 20 years, though, but still, he's a great director, so I'm sure I'm gonna like this movie. I don't know. The second one's coming out this year, so I thought this was a good time to just watch this one. I don't know when exactly it's coming out, but I'm assuming it's sometime. Oh, no, I did. I think it's in December, right? I think. I might be wrong. I might be wrong on that, but it's around that time. So let's just watch this and uh, see what it's all about. If you guys want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I have heard that this movie is visually stunning. So I'm hoping to see some of that. The big hole blown through the middle of my life. This is Sam Worth Wor Worthington, is it? The actor. So a week before Tommy's gonna ship out, so that's his brother. The guy with a gun ends his journey. I have no idea how they get into this Avatar land, though. Like, is it a, is it like a secret planet or something? I'm assuming it's a planet. It was Pandora. Pandora, that's the name of it, right? So they're here already. I'm assuming these blue people are gonna live here, right? There's no such thing as an ex-marine. Maybe out, but you never lose the attitude. I told myself I could pass any test a man could pass. Dude, he's doing this all in a wheelchair? They can fix right. his spinal if you got the money. But not on vet benefits. Not in this economy. Out there beyond that fence, every living thing that crawls, flies, or squats in the mud wants to kill you and eat your eyes for jujubes. We have an indigenous population of humanoids called the Navi. They're fond of arrows dipped in a neurotoxin that'll stop your heart in one minute. I'm assuming those are... The blue people. It is my job to keep you alive. I will not succeed. Not with all of you. Yeah, he's telling it like like how it is. Me and Norma here to drive these remotely controlled bodies called avatars. Oh. So he's gonna control one of those? This is your avatar now, Jake. Oh yeah, that's why it's called Avatar, because like Avatar's like an avatar is someone you create that kinda Looks like you and you control, right? Norm, I hear good things about you. How's your not me? Is that... Is, oh shit, that's Sigur, Sigourney Weaver. I thought it was. I guess that makes sense. She worked with Cameron and Aliens, so... How much lab training have you had? I just had good frog ones. You see? You see? I mean, they're just pissing on us without even the courtesy of calling it rain. I'm going to self-rich. No, great no, The last thing I need is another trigger-happy moron out there. Look, look, you're supposed to be winning the hearts and the minds of the natives. Isn't that the whole point of your little puppet show? Oh, that's what they're doing? We build them a school, we teach them English, but after what, how many years? Relations with the indigenous are only getting worse. Yeah, that tends to happen when you use machine guns on them. Oh, they've attacked them before? They were getting shot at with arrows, so I'm assuming that's why. Or, I don't know who shot first, that's the thing, though. I don't know. These things are huge, man. Even, just look at their feet, holy shit. So you just figured you'd come out here to the most hostile environment known to man with no training of any kind. Oh, well, he's the main character. He's got it. Maybe I was sick of doctors telling me what I couldn't do. Dude, fuck that. I'm not even, like, claustrophobic, really, but, like, that would still fuck me up. So is he just going to wake up in the other thing's body? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's going to be saying how much better the CGI is probably going to be for the sequel, right? This is still really good, though. This is gorgeous looking. <laughs> He's just going for it. He really wants to just... He just wants to walk. Oh, they're just chilling out here? Hey, guys. It's okay. I'll get him. What is he doing? He really wants to use his legs. 
Damn. This is really cool. They got a whole training ground area. I feel like he's never going to want to leave this body. Dude, look how much bigger they are than everyone else. The Avatar program is a bad joke. Bunch of blimp dick science majors. <laughs> this guy's going to be a problem, I feel. I got a feeling we're going to go in a direction of these people trying to start way too many problems with these... I could call them blue people because I forget their actual name. But, like, we're going to be... Tr like, the science people are going to try to make actual, like, peace with them, and that's just not going to go well. I want you to learn these savages from the inside. I want you to gain their trust. I need to know how to force their cooperation or hammer them hard if they won't. It's quite an aggressive tactic. You get me what I need, I'll see to it you get your legs back when you rotate home. Okay. Wow, look at those things. I heard they're making a video game of this, I think, within the next year or two. Man, I love the environments, dude. Absolutely love it. Even though it's like 99% CGI, I love it. The fuck? Oh, shit. Is that aggressive? Don't shoot. Don't shoot. You'll piss him off. Yeah, it does look like one of those only aggressive if you mess with it things. Yeah, don't run. Don't move forward. But no. Oh, you got to move now. Oh no, he didn't want to fuck with you. <laughs> he just wanted to chase you. Oh yeah, who's back? That's right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking oh, about. Oh shit. Yeah, you got nothing. You keep running. Yeah, why don't you bring back some of your friends? Huh? What the fuck is that? They may have answered this, I'm not sure. If he dies in his avatar, does he die in real life? I doubt it, right? <laughs> it's reminding me of like King Kong, to be honest. But there ain't no King Kong to save him from this thing right now. So he's got to save himself. Whoa! Damn! It's crazy, like, this isn't an animated movie, but like. You think some of it's animated at some points because so much of it is CGI. Which, is, again, isn't a bad thing. They kind of have to do that here. As long as it's good CGI, and it is, so. Dude, I would hide somewhere for the whole night. Just like a game of Minecraft, you just sit, sit in a cave or something. This is why uh, Grace said you wouldn't survive the night. Stuff like this is, usually comes out at night, I guess. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh. Yo, she going off. Look, I know you probably don't understand this. She might know English. Thank you. I feel like this movie would be a little bit... Like, if, if these are the two main characters, I feel like it would make sense for them to both speak English, so I should probably will. Hey, slow down. Wait up, I just want to say thanks for killing those things. Ah! Oh. <laughs> you don't thank for this. This is sad. Well, this is your fault. They did not need to die. Alright, well, th yeah, they attacked him. Was he, like, in their territory or something? I... You have a strong heart. She can feel that. No fear. That's stupid. <laughs> You're like a baby. He is like a child, though. He's like playing with everything. I would be too, though, to be honest. Just some cool shit here. Whoa! Are they being attacked? Or is it just a random trap? Oh shit. My way, not My way. Hopefully she can talk him down. Why are you touching him? This guy looks like the leader, 100%. What are you called? Jake Sully. 
They're like, what kind of fucking name is that? It's him to learn. We have tried to teach all the sky people. It is hard to fill a cup which is already full. <laughs> you just step on someone's tail. <laughs> Their damn village happens to be resting on the richest unobtainium deposit within 200 minutes Interesting. in any direction. Well, who gets him to move? Yes. Him. I know what's going to happen, though. They're not going to... He's not going to go... He's going to eventually like these people and, like, want to work with them. He's probably going to end up helping them in the end, I'm, I'm assuming, against these people. Forward. <laughs> Nice to hear some laughter from her, you know? She's been kind of stone cold s since we met her, so. Whoa, shit. Whoa. Once a halo is made, Gran will fly with her. Only one hunter in the whole life. Damn. I think one of the rides I went on, you rode one of these, I think, but it was behind a green screen, obviously, but it looked real. It was like virtual reality type stuff. I gotta see who's the composer for this movie, because it's really great music, and I just I want to be able to appreciate the composer. Oh, James Horner, okay. Makes sense. He's, in he's incredible, so. The language is a pain. But he's trying to learn the language? Naughty. 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 <laughs> this girl reminds me of fucking Sandy Cheeks from that one Spongebob episode when she was just going absolutely insane doing all these crazy stunts and Spongebob was like, Yo, what are you doing, Sandy? You're gonna get me killed. <laughs> Holy shit. That could have been really bad. Bro, that would be terrifying. You grab on something the wrong way, you fall off. Grab onto the vines. Fuck that. <laughs> This is some really, really deep ri ri uh, risk taking type shit. Whoa. It's the designs that really get me, to be honest. Like, the CGI, like I said, is great and all, but that's not really what's blowing me away. What's blowing me away is more of, more so the designs. I'm sure this would have blown me away in 2009, though. The CGI effects. Oh, nice. He actually did that really smoothly. Damn. Oh, oh. Why are you laughing? <laughs> there you go. Bro, that's all you have to think? <laughs> I'm assuming there's a little bit of knowledge needed to fly, but I guess not. <laughs> Seems to be going good now. All oh, the music, dude! It's just, it's perfect. Heard it a little bit before in that Disney park, so... It's almost nostalgic to hear it, even though I've never seen this movie before, you know? Holy shit. Dude, that's a little too fast for me, man. <laughs> I'd be I'd be slowing that shit down. That does look fun though. Look at that, man. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh that thing doesn't look good. That thing looks evil. It's big too. All 
Alright, if you're wondering why I've changed, it's a completely different day now, actually. It's the next morning. Um, I was just really tired. I had a headache and when I was watching it, so I was just like, alright, I'm I'm stopping for the night. I don't want to watch, you know, another hour and a half of a movie when I'm feeling like crap. So I was like, screw it, I'm going to bed. So let's just continue it from here. Why not? I got a feeling he's probably going to end up staying in that person's, that body. Even after the movie ends. If, like I said, I, I keep thinking that. Are those fake legs? Like for the actor is what I mean. Because I'm sure those aren't actually Sam Worthington's legs. Or it's just CGI. It could just be CGI. I don't know. You are a Motikaya now. You may make your bow from the wood of home tree. And you may choose a woman. <laughs> we know you. We know who he's going to choose. Ninat is the best singer. Well, I don't want Ninat. I've already chosen. But this woman must also choose me. Yeah, I was going to say, like, do they get a say? Like... <laughs> Oh, he is all in now. <laughs> he is all in. What the hell are you doing, Jake? <laughs> oh no, they're definitely... Is this... These the soldiers? Don't forget your phase integration. Oh shit, he's in there. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Dude, they're not gonna... They're not gonna listen to you. Alright, well... Yeah, he's gotta do something. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit! Damn, they're really taking this whole place out. It's gonna be a whole war between them. And there's really no way to stop it. Yeah, they're gonna be able to tell who it is. Son of a bitch. Yep. Shit. They can take him out. Can't they just take him out of the uh, the machine too? Like, and he'll just fall asleep. She's trying to make peace. The problem is they're not gonna accept peace. Like the other side will, and this side won't either. I don't think anyone's gonna accept peace at this point. You made it with this woman. Oh shit. <laughs> Neo Matakai will die if you do. You are not my brother. <laughs> and I am not your enemy. The enemy is out there, and they are very powerful. Yeah, they're attacking us. I knew they would, yeah. They would just go to where he's sleeping. There's no one there to protect them. No, no, no. Hold on. You can't interrupt the Lincoln's progress. They're gonna do it anyways. Oh fuck. I was sent here to And he can't even protect himself because his fucking legs don't work. <laughs> in in his human form. Nice. You crossed the line. Damn. They're just goddamn trees. <laughs> you need to wake up, Parker. No, you need to wake up. I would listen to the science woman. She's she probably knows more than you. These are people you're about to no, send no, no, back no. off. They're fly-bitten savages that live in a tree. I don't know about you, but I see a lot of trees. They can move. Bro, that logic is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's like, hey, who cares if someone blows up your house? You, you could just go find another house. Let me try to talk them out. They trust me. But they sent me here to learn oh, your ways. It's telling the truth. So one day I could bring this message and then you will believe it. Oh no, they're not gonna trust him now anymore. Everything changed. Okay, I fell in love. <laughs> with you. With yeah, they're still not gonna... Yeah. Trust me now. No. You know, it, it's a reasonable response to the situation, I feel. Well, this is like bow and arrows against gunships. Like, they can't fight. There's no way, unless they have something up their sleeve. I guess they have the dragon things that could fly around, right? I don't know. I have no fear, bro, but like, you need some fear. Like, look at this. Look at this shit. You need some fear. I want every gas round you got right in the front door. 
Those arrows ain't gonna do shit. Alright, let's turn up the heat. Switch incendiaries. Oh no. No, come on. I get her frustration, but it's like still. Come on now. Did you come to kill them? If you are one of us, help us. Oh, good. Thank you. Oh my god. Screw this. Nice. I knew all of them couldn't be like okay with this, but she's just one ship. There's so many ships there. So much destruction, man. Is the whole thing gonna come crashing down? Oh shit. Oh shit. A lot of people are gonna die. For sure. That's just some evil actions, man. Yeah, a lot of them are dead. Yeah, a lot of people are, clearly are not happy about what they're doing. <laughs> you could see it, but they just don't speak up. Oh, shit. Got a piece of wood thrown. Yeah, I get it. Oh, come on. Oh, damn! I don't know how they're gonna end up staying in these things if they keep pulling the plug. What's going on, brother? Long time no see. She's gonna- she's gonna free them. She's gonna free them. Yeah, she's gonna free them. <laughs> One thing I never understood in movies is- and I'm sure this is, maybe goes for your life too- is how do- so many people- they're so good at knowing how to knock someone out just enough to like knock them out but not cause brain damage because i don't know if i don't know what they're causing by hitting people in the head like that but they could be causing something bad but you gotta still do it hard enough to knock them out they gotta find somewhere quiet secret to do this that still has the machinery that they need jeez guy didn't even give a shit about a mask he just said screw it no, she got hit. No, no. This is gonna ruin my whole day. Ruin more than your day. Hang on, Grace. It doesn't matter. It's fine. No, that looks pretty bad. Oh, is that his? Taruk is the baddest cat in the sky. Nothing attacks him, so why would he ever look up? Interesting. Holy shit. Oh god, they're scared. Understandably so. Why do all these creatures always have to do that? <sighs> like a scream like that? <laughs> Whenever they land. You need to take some samples. <laughs> oh, are they using her other body? Oh, I see. What is that gonna do? Is that gonna make her like half and half or... <laughs> With her, Jake. She's real. What's happening? Did it not work? Her wounds were too great. No. Well, we will send them a message. You ride out as fast as the wind can carry you. You tell the other clans to come. Oh yeah, they could get other clans involved, right? Yeah, if they get a shitload of people from other clans, I mean, they still have machine guns and giant ass gunships but i don't know oh shit oh damn this is gonna be a battle man this is gonna be one hell of a battle yeah i was gonna say this thing could definitely take out some of these gunships <laughs> Alright, I stand corrected. Some of these bow and arrows might be useful if they can hit it perfectly through the window. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> Fucking launch that thing and do another one, yes! 
<laughs> oh my god. It's their missiles that are really the most dangerous thing, man. Because they can blow up multiple people at a time with that. I hope Jake gets a chance to take, take on that army general guy. Oh, nice. <laughs> I do know this girl. She does look familiar. I've definitely seen her in a movie before. Oh no, oh no. No! Damn! Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's done. Or she, I don't know if it was a boy or a girl, I forget. She's, is she gonna go on like a killing spree now? Cause she seems, she's having one of those moments where it's like, it's all hitting her at once. Oh shit, oh! oh. Yo, he went for- oh. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Aw, that was one of the most badass scenes in the movie right there. That was fucking awesome. Sorry, Jake. No. Dude, they're all dying. No. Yep, she's dead. Okay, so they do survive if their avatar hurts or dies. That's what I thought, but I wasn't too sure. Oh, damn, these things! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was hurt you. Or it was just a coincidence and they just happened to come in that moment. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of creatures coming. <laughs> I like that though. That's how they win. They're using the nature essentially to win. It's like nature versus machine. Because all the soldiers are using like machinery stuff, like guns and vehicles. Oh my god, he's gonna go for it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's taking out each ship one by one. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No! Well, you got really lucky. I don't know how he survived that, but <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh shit, is that where they're, yep. This has become personal for him. He's not even, like, giving a shit about the mission itself. He just wants to get Jake. Damn. Come on, Jake. Where are you at? Give it up, Karch. Perfect timing. Damn. This is the final boss. Yes. Just miss him, though. Does he know he can just destroy that thing over there? And I think that would get Jake killed. Oh, no. He's doing exactly what I said he was going to do. Or what I said I thought he would do. Yes. Use that. Finally. Nice. 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 Get the damn mask, come on! There you go. The aliens went back to their dying world. Huh. They could have had some peaceful deal go down. They just decided to go in and start shooting people, so I... I'm sure they could have came to some better agreement between each other. Oh, and that's how it ends, okay. That's insane to me that it took them, what, like 10 plus years to make a sequel and they're only making that now, which I believe they have like a couple sequels planned, which is crazy. But that was a really solid movie. I expected to 
like it because I've heard a lot of good things about it and I kind of understand why it's been such a popular movie. I think it's one of the highest grossing movies of all time, which is definitely something I'm kind of surprised about because usually when you think of highest grossing movies, it's usually movies that are a part of a bigger franchise. So it's like, you know, something people get kind of excited for leading up to it. But this is a movie where it was kind of just like, I don't think there's anything that came before this, right? Like this is its own thing, its own idea. Um, maybe I'm wrong there, but I believe it is. I could be wrong. I'm you know let me know if i am but the only things i can think of is you know james cameron's directing it i know a lot of people like his movies his movies usually do pretty damn well so i guess that was something people were excited for a new james cameron movie um and also i guess the fact that it's got really groundbreaking like special effects for 2009 if you compare this to other movies around that time this definitely looks a lot better than a lot of those so i guess that could be another reason as to why i don't know but I'm not surprised it's popular, I'm just surprised it's like top like five of all time or something crazy like that, like it's up there. And yeah, I really enjoyed it though, like this is a really solid story all around. It's a pretty long movie, but it, I think it's paced very well, it has a lot going on in it, so it makes sense why it would be so long. I did watch it in two different days, so I guess my, you know, perspective on that's a little bit different because I don't sit through the entire three hours, rather I cut it between an hour and a half each. Not because I wanted to, but because... If you were watching the video and you heard what I said, I just wasn't feeling good yesterday. So I was like, I'm just going to cut it here so I can finish it next day when I'm feeling you know, better. And it's easier to watch something because sometimes when you're not feeling well, you just want to go to sleep. You don't want to you know, sit and watch a movie. So I really liked the concept of it itself. It's, you know, it's a story I've heard many times before, for sure. There's a lot of movies that are like this, but it's not a story I'm ever tired of. And what I mean by that is a story where somebody does something you know in an incognito way right they're like secretly they're doing something with an alternative motive right that that's the way i want to put it doing something with an alternative motive and they start to eventually not want to stick with that motive anymore because they start caring for the people that's involved in this whatever you know thing that they're doing and so eventually they start to realize you know what, I'm not going to do this anymore. And then they start going against the people they were originally working for in the beginning. I've seen plenty of movies like that, but I don't think that's taking anything away from this film. I still absolutely love that concept and I love how it was explored in this film. And I think it's a concept that I'd love to see more movies of because it's always one that um, I find to be interesting because it's a character. It's like a, it's a very developing story in that sense where the main character has a, a progression in their character because of changing their alternative motive that they eventually originally had into eventually uh, caring for specific people that are involved in it. And obviously that's exactly what this entire movie was about. That end battle there was incredible too from an from just action standpoint. There was some really well done action sequences there in that last 30 minutes. So I love that. The music was fantastic. So yeah. So that's all I got, really got to say about this movie. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.